All right, everybody. So we have another surprise in the mail today coming in from Hoka. This is going to be the Skyward X. Take a look there. This is going to be our first impression of this massive chunker of a shoe. Oh my gosh. So just immediately taking a look here. Uh, look at this stack height. This is probably the most max cushion shoe I've held in my hand in a long, long time, maybe ever. Um, I'm seeing a lot of structure to the top here. Let's take the cardboard out. And yeah, it just, you know, has quite a bit of structure. This screams, you know, daily long miles, uh, getting my hand on the top here. It's, it's a little bit supple, it's a little bit nice, but it does not feel very stretchy. Having a feel inside, yeah, not very stretchy at all, but very roomy toe box, man. Look at this thing. That is very well structured, nice and wide. Um, this is the regular width. I wonder if they come in a, in a wider selection, and if so, that'd be good for our wide feet folks out there. Um, having a feel inside around where the, the pinky toe is, and there's not really any seams or bumps or lumps going on to interfere with that same on the big toe side. Having a look at the tongue of the shoe, this is different than the Skyflow I looked at yesterday. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, doesn't have as much padding and everything like that. Having a look at the heel, oh my gosh, this is quite tapered, quite in a V here. It'll be interesting to compare this to the Skyflow later on, but right now we're just having a look here. Um, it's very very, very rigid, man. That is super duper tight and it's not going anywhere. A little bit of plastic. I'm not sure what material that is. Maybe TPU going on to offer some rigidity to that heel. Kind of get my hand in here. So this has got an active heel frame that's supposed to be deep within the shoe that's supposed to cradle that heel and really lend it to stability um, and just ease and comfort and everything else over the long haul. So looking at the midsole, we have two different foams. We have a Piba and we have an EVA on the bottom. Kind of a, a nice suspension system as well as a convex carbon fiber plate designed to receive the energy of the foot strike smash down into the foam and then spring back as you kind of propel along and let's actually look at the external geometry it's supposed to be an aggressive meta rocker and then having a look here and that's that's fairly decent you know it starts about three quarters of the way through the shoe and then works its way towards the forefoot there um, also it's got some some rock going on to the heel as well I am very intrigued about the shoe, but uh, it's a lot. There is so much going on and it feels quite heavy. I have a men's size 11, so we'll see what that shows up on the scale later on. But for now, I'm just telling you, it feels quite bulky in the hand, if you know what I'm saying. So taking a look at the exposed carbon fiber plate with a big old hole into the midsole from the outsole here, some very thick rubber. Woo, that's a lot of rubber. My goodness, hello. Anyways, so there's our first look at the very non-twistable Hoka Skyward X. Um, very interesting shoe. There's a lot, 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 lot going on in here in this very structured, rigid, high stack, kind of squishy, but kind of not long distance, I think, shoe. <laughs> The link for this shoe will be in the description if you want to check it out. I would appreciate a like of this video. It shows me and YouTube that you found value in it and that uh, you want to keep on keeping on here as well. Feel free to subscribe. All right, we'll take a look at the shoe in the future video. Right now, I'm just showing you in our first look. I appreciate everybody. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one.